What is going on everybody? It is Jamie. Welcome to the channel Thrift on Fire. Today it's January 6th. It's also minus six outside and I'm about to go into the Salvation Army and hopefully find some good stuff to flip on eBay. Uh, the other thing going on in Terra right now is we are going back to the second stage of COVID protocol or whatever the government wants to call it. They're not really calling it a lockdown. They're basically limiting stores to less people. I think like a regular mall is something like 50% and a retail store like uh, Salvation Army here might be at like 25% capacity. So there are some extra COVID measures measures in place with the new variant. So I just wanted to bring that up. I don't look, doesn't look like I'm gonna have to wait to get in or anything. It's 9.30 in the morning. They've been open for half hour. It looks like I'll be able to walk right into this store. I'm not sure about Goodwill. In the past, they've had to line up. So when we get there, I guess we'll find out. But for now, let's get into Salvation Army and hopefully find some good stuff to flip on eBay. Now right here, I'm looking just at the mugs. So I'm looking for Starbucks mugs, Tim Hortons Limited Edition, Ray Dunn, stuff like that. Those mugs can be worth some good money. Uh, and you never know, you might as well look them up if you find them in your stores. Now this particular Salvation Army is the only local area to me that actually has video games out in their store. I usually find Wii games, sometimes Xbox 360, PS3, PS4, but today I didn't find any. Now I'm just making my way back to the electronics section. A lot of times I'm looking for VCRs, DVD combos. Let's see if I find anything today. $8.50 with the remote. Now me personally, when I'm looking through the knife section, I am just looking for Cutco. It's one brand that's gonna sell well, and I'm just looking for that one needle in a haystack. Looking in the stuffies here, and I find a Squishmallow, only 50 cents. Just seeing these guys peeking out at me. <laughs> Merrells, I didn't know they made boots like this, but for $7, I'll definitely be grabbing them. So I always like to look through the jackets, men's jackets, women's jackets, it really doesn't matter to me. I'm looking for high quality designer, wool, leather, anything that's gonna be priced well around $10 to $15. I'll usually pick it up if it's a good brand, good quality. Uh, right here, you're gonna see me pick up a Levi's jacket at the end. Levi's is a good brand. Now this particular one I was hoping was vintage and wool. I do think it's vintage, but it actually wound up being a polyester jacket, which wasn't worth as much. I think they were asking uh, something like 10 or $15, and then it's worth maybe 35. And like I said, I'll explain it in the next clip a little bit better, but I always love to look at jackets and I've made some really good money selling them on eBay. Set this down. So yeah, not too bad DVD VCR combo. So yeah, pretty good. I spent $16. The DVD VCR combo, I didn't even look up. I know it's going to be good for eight bucks. I'm going to guess it's probably worth somewhere between 50 to $60. I'll throw comps up of the exact unit on the screen so you can see it. I'm just trying to find on my, I took a picture here of the Squishmallow. It looks like it's going to be between 38 and 40 bucks. I'll throw that up on the screen so you can see it a little better too. Um, I'll have to look in this a little better. It looks like it might technically be a pet toy. I don't know if this one is or not. Either way, it's it's still going to be worth. I'm probably going to sell it myself for something like thirty dollars free shipping. Uh, and then at the end there, you maybe see me look at the uh, Levi's jacket. Well, I was thinking it might be something great. I looked at the inside. It wasn't wool. It was a synthetic material, polyester, and some sort of blend. And I kept looking, looking. This is a this is like a similar type item. They wanted $10 for theirs, so for $10, I didn't really think $31 was a very good pickup. Uh, but vintage Levi could be really good, and at one time, or one time looking at there, I definitely thought it was wool. So definitely, you know, research a little bit if, you, if you're intrigued in something in the store. And then what was the other thing we picked up? Oh, the Merrill boots. I'm not sure about, I'm unsure about those as well. I didn't look them up. They're a good pair of boots for uh, $7. I just picked them up. I, I didn't even bother looking them up, but I'll throw comps, comps up on the screen. And I believe they'll probably probably be around 50 bucks, bare minimum. I could be wrong, um, and I should de definitely should be looking up comps, but stuff like that, I feel pretty confident that's going to be worth good money. 
All right, stop two is gonna be Goodwill. All right, so there doesn't appear to be any lineup or anything. I will take a little snap of the capacity of the store. I'm sure it's lower capacity. It's a, uh, what is today, Thursday, I think. So Thursday morning, 10 o'clock, they just opened 18 minutes ago. So, you know, maybe there's a bunch of people in the store. Maybe nobody's thrifting today and, and I'll get everything. Uh, I don't really know, but let's get in the store and we'll see if there's anything good at the Goodwill today. So Lord of the Rings, Fellowship of the Rings, $4.99. Um, it is complete. I did look. Everything's in there. It looks like it sells for about $35 or $40. So we'll go ahead and pick that up. Really great bolo item for you guys. Psycho Bunny. If you've never seen this before, it's the little bunny with the skull and crossbones. These things sell for $40 or $50 used really fast. Great pickup here. Now I'm over in the mug and the cup section again. I'm really just trying to get closer to the shoes, but I am looking for some mugs, but I didn't find any at this store. Now I can't remember the exact model of these, but I pick up a pair of Asics, and these guys, I'm just looking, the threads are good, it's all bounded and bonded well together. No issues with these shoes at all. Eight bucks into probably 45. Now these ones, I believe, are the Speedstar 6s. These are same thing. I'd have to, I'll throw up comps at the end here for you anyway, but I think these guys are probably $45, roughly, maybe 50. So that's pretty good. And that's shipped also. I do free shipping on all of my shoes. Uh, these Columbia boots, they look to be in great condition, but I'll explain more here in a minute about these boots. Okay, so I had a little bit of issues with my camera in there, which I had to go back and record um, the first little bit. So when I walked into the store, I found the uh, Lord of the Rings collector's DVD uh, Blu-ray or whatever it was, and that didn't film. So that's why you see me go back and talk about it in the video. It probably didn't seem that weird, but I did film some stuff prior that the clips just didn't record on my uh, camera for whatever reason. So anyway. Picked up the Blu-rays, uh, and then I found the uh, Psycho Bunny Polo. Those things do really well. I haven't found one in a while. Uh, prices are going up just a little bit in my local Goodwill, but it was about eight bucks roughly, and it should sell for about $45 plus shipping or $40 plus shipping, somewhere in there. Um, didn't really find too much else, really. Once I found a personal bag. <laughs> this is gonna be my new lunch bag. And uh, Two pair of Asics, they were eight bucks a piece. I think one was technically eight seventy-eight or something, went up a little bit too. And the other one was eight dollars, must have been older pricing. Those are probably gonna be forty-five dollars free shipping. So not a lot of profit there, but they do sell, and I and I'm not nervous to pick stuff like that up because it will sell for me. Um and, I, and that's pretty much it. I put back the Columbia boots, they wanted ten dollars, and after I looked up comps, um they're very seasonal and I don't think that they sell as well as I thought maybe they would have. So I did put the Columbia boots back. So I still have a little bit of time. I was hoping to leave Tilsonburg by about, by about 11 because I have to work this afternoon, but it's about 10 to 11. So I'm gonna go up to Onward, run in quick, see if I can find anything, and then I'll have to head home and get ready for work. All right, we made it stop three, Onward Thrift. This is gonna be a quick one, but hopefully you find something good. Usually there's something in here, but you never really know what you're gonna find. And thank goodness, guys, it's warmed up to a lovely minus four. A little bit of VCR, five bucks. Looks to be an oldie. I don't know. Just looking at this guy, it looks pretty interesting. It's only a dollar. It's a 100 slide tray for a projector, an old school projector. I'll throw some comps up. Apparently it's only worth about $10. I was kind of thinking maybe this would be okay, but we'll just leave it for now. This is a pretty basic pair of Nikes here. I'm gonna pick up for eight bucks. And then I'm gonna have to get a price on these North Face boots. But they would be a good pickup if they were under around 10 bucks. <laughs> Okay, so I was in a little bit of a hurry in there. Basically, I checked out the electronics and the uh, VCR. Uh, it was just too old, really, for me. And I didn't really want to go through testing it all that much without the remote or anything like that. Um, so I just left the VCR. The tray for the uh, projector looked like it was going to be cool. I kind of looked them up. Maybe $20 because it's sealed. But more likely, like, 12 to $15 plus shipping. And that's that's not really something I want to try to sell. Uh, the 
you know, only for a dollar. It seems like for a dollar that might be worth it, but I don't think that's going to sell very fast. Uh, and then the shoes. So just a basic pair of Nike. So I'll throw some comps up of a similar item if I can't find the exact one, but I feel like those are probably $8 into like 40, 45, something like that. And then the, um, the uh, North Face boots, there was no price on them when I brought them up. She's like, well, these ones are eight. How about eight for the boots? <laughs> uh, most boots in there are 15 bucks, 10 bucks. If it's uh, something they think is really valuable, they usually price it around 25 or 30. So she let me on for eight bucks. That was awesome. They're probably minimum worth $50. I'll so throw comps up. I feel like they're gonna be between 50 and 65 dollars roughly once again i don't know why but today i haven't really been looking a ton of stuff up unless i was really unsure north north face boots i mean come on you know they're gonna be good all right so i have to start making my way home so i can get ready to go to work uh but in the meantime i'm gonna do a montage here of everything that i bought and give you guys an idea of what i spent and what i think it's gonna be worth store but that's going to do it for today's video guys if you like videos like this give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed to the channel subscribe to the channel for more content until next time take care stay safe we'll see you soon Bye bye